everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we will be asking Spirit, how does your twin flame feel? Okay, so how are they feeling about you, your connection, things like that? We will see what comes through. Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. And if you haven't done so, please check out the other YouTube channel, Mystically Divine Alignment, for more help on your journey. There isn't much content there now, but if you head over and subscribe, you can catch all those videos as they come out. The video coming out today is Twin Flame Affirmations, the same day as this pick a card reading is being released, okay? So I'd love to see you guys over there, head over there. All right, guys, let's get into today's reading. So for crystal number one, we have the Clear Quartz Crystal with the Cat Tarot. And for crystal number two, the Red Jasper Crystal with the light seers tarot and for crystal number three the pyrite crystal with the tarot of the divine okay so choose which crystal or cards resonate with you most and i will see you in your reading if you resonated with crystal number one the clear quartz crystal and the cat tarot this will be your reading okay crystal number one so we are asking today how does your twin flame feel so let's see with the general energy card coming out here for crystal number one how does their twin flame feel mm, time to restore so they're feeling like they want to get get back to it okay um they could be spending some time resting and relaxing right now trying to you know really heal something for some of you as well working through something but they're also feeling that pull to come back to you and restore this connection okay so let's see a couple different messages coming through remember these are general readings so not all messages will resonate for everyone just take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind Ooh, five of pentacles. So feeling a little bit of distance, but wanting to come back together again. This card always like so cute. They're kissing there, the two cats. Um, but they're feeling a little bit at a distance right now, feeling a little bit left out of this connection. Um, yeah, they're definitely kind of spending some time alone is what I feel. How's their twin flame feeling? knight of pentacles so they're feeling like things are moving pretty slowly knight of pentacles either they're wanting to take it slow or they're feeling like things are too slow so they might be feeling a little bit impatient okay it's kind of what i'm picking up here could be impatience with you or with themselves five of cups yeah they're kind of feeling Again, it's like they're wanting to open their heart. They're wanting to move past disappointment. They feel like they're disappointing you in some way. They want to move past that. Hmm. So they're wanting to they're wanting to do something, approve something here is what I'm feeling. Hmm. Maybe show you the opposite of what they feel like you were disappointed with. Hmm. Not sure. That one's a weird one. Okay. Ten of, whoops. Yeah. Ten of swords. They want to end that painful cycle. I feel like this is a separation situation and they're wanting to end that cycle and bring it back together with that time to restore for sure. And this five of pentacles feeling like kind of distant right now, but wanting to bring it back together. Whoa, we have a couple here. Seven of Pentacles and Knight of Swords. Wow. Putting the work in and wanting to move forward quickly. So they are feeling a little impatient, okay? Um, 
they're putting some sort of work in could be inner work this is planting seeds for growth so they're wanting to grow things with you they're really wanting to progress this connection and move it forward with the knight of swords they're wanting to do so quickly um, things are moving a little bit too slow for their liking um, whatever that may mean you know for you maybe you know for some of you you could be in a connection or you could be in a situation where you can't be with them you could be at a distance and they can't get to you at this time whatever it is it's taking a while and they're kind of feeling a little bit impatient and wanting to move forward knight of pentacles knight of wands because they're super passionate about you and they want to marry you they want yeah see so they definitely want commitment it could be that it's taking a long time to commit to one another here that's really kind of got them feeling a little impatient they're super passionate they want to take action they want romance they want yeah there's so much desire hmm lots of desire here and see these two birds up above here on that hierophant too um a little bit of distance between them but wanting closeness once again hmm. yeah they're really looking at the long term i feel like this could be what they're planting seeds for hoping maybe that they're hoping that that will move things forward faster because they're definitely feeling impatient. Definitely is what I'm feeling here. Lots of impatience from this person. Or from someone. You know, lots of different energies come through. So th this might not be your person. But definitely feeling like it is for some of you. Okay, five of cups here. Wanting to end this disappointment. What was this disappointment? They felt like they disappointed you in some way. And they're wanting to like show you the opposite is what I was getting there. why the five of cups why the five of cups please we have the king of swords and oh, okay wow so in the past right so they want to do the opposite of what they did before what they did before where they were indecisive and they didn't offer you a love offer they didn't come forward with some sort of a a love offer to be together now they're feeling like they want to be more clear and offer you love ace of cups wow this is being in love falling in love being in love so they're in love with you they're wanting to marry you but what they did in the past that disappointed you was they were very indecisive and they didn't offer you love they might have pulled away they might have went all in and then backed up you know very hot and cold they might have been emotionally unavailable in the past. Okay, I feel like this is saying that they are emotionally available now. Wanting to do the opposite. So, Ten of Swords. What is this Ten of Swords? King of Pentacles. Nice. And the Ten of Cups at the bottom. Sweet. So the King of Pentacles is feeling very secure. Okay, wanting to provide security to you, to this connection. They're feeling like they could be a great provider. And they're wanting complete heart fulfillment with you. Ten of Cups is a beautiful, happily ever after energy, okay? So they really do want all of it. You know, the, the marriage, the home, the, you know, they're really looking forward to that is what I'm feeling. And again, I feel like it's just been a slow mover, Mm, and they're really they're really wanting it just as badly you know but something has really slowed it down and they're trying to do something here to speed it up is what I'm feeling but they have these deep powerful love emotions for you they're very passionate for you lots of desire how does crystal number one's twin flame feel how does crystal number one's twin flame feel? Whoa. Almost fell on the floor there. Mmm. Very nice. Let's see. Purification. Ooh, nice. So inner work. Yeah. 
purifying the energy coming into balance nice okay that's good that's a good sign if they're feeling that way right now they're feeling more pure they're feeling more ready might not have been in the past so now they're feeling more ready that's good crystal number one's twin flame how do they feel there we go we have one yep i can show you that one there you go beautiful card i love this card my beloved though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing so they feel your presence with them they do they feel you all the time beautiful let's see what else for crystal number one how does their twin flame feel breakup mm. so for some of you maybe that is the case uh i was feeling like maybe you had another partner or maybe they do it could be either way um but yeah there could be a breakup at hand here okay something that has to end in order that could have been what was slowing it down mm. with the hierophant here too could be that someone was married you or your person and it was kind of slowing things down there was a lot of passion between you regardless is what i feel here but so someone going through a breakup you or your person because i did kind of feel like maybe they were feeling left out because you had someone else so for some of you it could be that okay and for others i feel like it could be them so leaving the past behind yeah coming right out after breakup so very important message there and it's a last quarter moon in capricorn hmm. so they are feeling like leaving the past behind so that is for i definitely feel for some of you it's them leaving some sort of past behind that was taking some time birds of a feather they do feel the soul bond you know we have my beloved as well with this card, they feel that spiritual connection to you. And with birds of a feather, same type of energy, high level soulmate or twin flame. So they, again, doesn't really, it, the label, they don't, they might not know it. You know, they feel like you're a soul connection. You're a soulmate. They might not know the label. Either way, they feel the connection. That's what's important. Whoa, <laughs> that was fast. Crystal number one, how are they feeling? That, oh nice chameleon spirit act as if so they're acting as if you're with them okay they're really using the laws of the universe to um manifest you into their life okay so beautiful they they do want this to speed up like i said they do want it to speed up they i feel like maybe they have surrendered to the divine and kind of just they're acting as if they're working with universal law and the energy of the universe how does crystal number one's twin flame feel, please? Miracles. Nice. Expect the wondrous to emerge. So they're feeling very good. They're feeling very optimistic is what I feel here. They're feeling like it'll feel like a miracle when it happens. It might, again, might have taken quite some time. I feel like this might have taken some time very slow mover and then it's gonna feel like a miracle when it finally comes to fruition okay what else for that was fast <laughs> crystal number one's twin flame feels oh hostilities hmm so either i'm getting two different things here so they could be surrounded by someone who is very hostile and kind of making them feel uh i'm feeling like guilt okay something about guilt coming through and for others of you i'm feeling like they might feel like you're mad at them okay so of course take that as it resonates but it is coming through so for someone here your person might feel like you are hostile towards them like you are upset with them you know, they feel like they disappointed you here. That could be what that was all about. Hmm, interesting. 
Mm, let's see what else. Whoa. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Those really wanted to fly out. So we have one, two, three. Okay, three. So we'll take them one at a time. Treasure Island. So definitely feeling like you're extremely special to this person. They feel that you, your love, the bond that you share is extremely special and unique. Okay, beautiful energy there. Observer. So they're keeping their eye on you as well. They're really keeping their eye, even if they're from afar, um, like this little kitty cat here or wolf or fox, whatever that is. It looks like a little fox. Um, is really looking at that moon from afar with a telescope, right? So it almost gives me the the feeling like for some of you, it's from a distance, like geographically distanced, okay? Um, but they're still keeping their eye on you and they're hoping that, you know, you're still on board with them and their con your connection with them. And Yang, so this is about the masculine energy and this could be that offer with that Ace of Cups, okay? This card here, the way these hands are with this it reminds me of like the ace of pentacles um this could for me it feels like and it's at number one too which kind of makes me feel like a masculine energy here wanting to offer love okay really coming into balance and wanting to offer love and then let's get one of these as well for crystal number one how does their twin flame feel Whoa, we have two. Yeah, <laughs> they don't want to fall out, but there they are dreaming and re-energize. Nice. So they are wanting to bring it back together, like the first card stated there. The first message through and dreaming. So they could be dreaming about you. Again, acting as if. So they really are visualizing you together, really um, focused on you. Okay, same thing with Observer. They're very focused on you. Dreaming about you at night could be during the day as well. Daydreams, visualization, things like that. Okay, beautiful. Very, very nice. All right, let's get, we have a couple more here. For crystal number one, how does their twin flame feel? Whoa. <laughs> These are fancy. These flyers, they're flying out very fancy. We got one over here, one over here. Illumination and flow. Oh, nice. Yeah, something big coming to light. Hmm. And there's that flow energy, working with the universal flow. Something big coming to light, though. Some sort of information being found out here. Hmm. Could cause a sudden shift or change. Whatever that may mean for you or your connection, but could cause a sudden shift or change. Something big coming to light. Okay. And definitely feeling like they definitely feel in flow, okay, with the universe there. Uh, lots of energy of them kind of acting as if, using universal energy, trying to manifest you into their life. Let's get one more here for crystal number one. How does their twin flame feel? Be supportive. So they want to be, yeah, I told you that king of pentacles. They're wanting to support you. They're wanting to take care of you. Oh, bottom of the deck. Okay. Back to what you love. Okay. Yeah. Coming back together. Okay. So back to what you love. So they're wanting to get back to you and they are wanting to support. Okay, they very much are in their masculine energy, really wanting to take care of you, provide, you know, protect. Absolutely beautiful. All right, crystal number one. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the red jasper crystal, and the light seer's tarot, this will be your reading, okay? Crystal number two, today we are asking spirit, how does your twin flame feel, okay? So let's see how crystal number two's twin flame feel. That was fast. <laughs> General energy card, ooh, noble one. 
So they want to do the right thing by you. This person deeply respects you, okay? Very high level of respect here. You are their empress. I'm going to tell you that now um, because that's what they're feeling here. Very powerful love for you. Wow. And deep, deep respect. For some of you, I feel like they're... They respect you so much that they're protecting you from something as well. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. So they're feeling... Hmm, interesting. They're feeling single, wild, and free. <laughs> wow. I feel like this is someone who might have just set themselves free. From something. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Maybe they were attached to someone else. And they've set themselves free. They're wanting to communicate this as well. Hmm, you might be hearing from this person. Wow, powerful messages coming out for you right away. Crystal number two. How does their twin flame feel? Single, wild, and free. That's huge. Whoops. <laughs> that one flew way over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. Look at this. So they've let go. The past is behind them. They've let go. They're looking at their life from a whole new perspective. Wow. Wow. So they've surrendered to the divine and they're moving forward. Okay, interesting. Let's see, how does your twin flame feel, crystal number two? They're feeling pretty strong right now is what I'm feeling. They want to do the right thing by you? Oh, yeah, they're feeling that deep love too. Okay, with the lover's card, they're feeling that deep, powerful soul connection between you. They want to look into your eyes and tell you how they feel. Wow. Whoo, that is powerful. So you might not even know, or maybe you know because you know, you have that inner knowing that this is your twin flame. But I mean, like, the, it hasn't escaped their mouth, how they really feel. Like, they haven't said it hasn't crossed their lips you know crystal number two how does their twin flame feel okay we have fancy fly whoa hierophant fancy flyers for you too hmm the hierophant so they have ascended they have, they're feeling very very high vibrational energy coming through here wow powerful they might want to marry you too. This could be doing the right thing by you. They might want to propose here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, the commitment on that Hierophant card. Could be talking about proposal. Wow, what is up here? We got three all at once. Okay. All right, so... On the Nine of Pentacles, things took a long time, okay? Nine of Pentacles, definitely things were very slow moving to get to this point. With temperance coming out with it, there was a lot of patience required. So they had to be patient with themselves along the way is what I'm feeling here. And now they are happy. The sun, they're feeling extremely happy. Like I said, the, the message on this card, single, wild, and free, feeling happy, joyous, blissful about being free. Hmm. This person could have really been leaving a lousy situation in their life, okay? Nine of Cups. Wow. Wish fulfillment. So now they're able to move forward toward their wish fulfillment. You make their wishes come true. Wow. You are the dream. Two of Wands. For some of you, they're traveling to you. Um, with this globe standing out to me, boom, right when it hit the, the table here. Um, they made this choice, okay? This is planning next steps towards getting together with their lover, which is you, okay? Um, next steps toward experiencing this deep, powerful love. And for some of you, it is traveling. So they could be planning a trip of some sort, and of course, always keep in mind general reading. So not all messages will resonate for everyone. You know, um, keep that in mind. A lot of different situations come through. Let's see. How does crystal number two's twin flame feel? Why the Hierophant for crystal number two? The moon. Yeah, telling you how they feel. Lots of deep emotion. 
that they they had a lot beneath the surface this person they're wanting to express that now through commitment they might have been obviously non-committal if they weren't single at some point they might have been non-committal in the past and maybe they didn't even tell you how they truly felt because they felt like they couldn't. They're wanting to hear with this moon card. They're wanting to release this from beneath the surface. Mm. Lots unsaid. Okay, let's see. That was fast. I didn't even ask the question, but spirit knows what the question is. Yes. So they feel very strong. Like I said, warrior. Right, they're feeling very powerful, strong, empowered, um, moving forward in their life. So they're feeling like now they have what they what they desire is in their grasp because they freed themselves of something. Okay, feeling very empowered, you know, very strong. I can show you that one beautiful card I think it's soulmates yes it is soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically so coming out here I feel like of course you know the label twin flame they might not know the label of it they do feel that deep soul bond and they are trying to manifest you so they are feeling very powerful I feel like they are um, realizing their own power really in flow with the universe here as well with it saying manifesting your desire so they're believing that you're with them already acting as if and you manifest physically beautiful divine timing it is time oh and look at the bottom i knew it <laughs> i knew it for some of you i felt that earlier oh and vacation too okay so for some of you this definitely it's someone traveling okay um with vacation coming through but divine timing and then noticing engagement on the bottom it is time for this connection to blossom to flourish okay but engagement coming through for some of you i was feeling that here that can't really wanting commitment and may even be a proposal this could have been, like I said, something that took quite a, quite a long time. They were having to be patient with themselves even. Okay, so. All right, let's get more. For crystal number two, how does their twin flame feel? So I feel you have a very strong divine masculine at this point um, who's really rising in their power and really starting to make changes that they need to make in their life so we have open up to change and honor your feelings next yeah so they are opening up to change and allowing those changes into their life and honoring your feelings hmm, interesting so i feel like they they want to be in a beautiful healthy relationship you know equally balanced with you honoring your feelings very nice they definitely want to do the right thing by you for sure that first message out now we get two again i think two or three two oh mm, nice tender embrace and beyond the ordinary another powerful twin flame card coming through here beyond the ordinary um and tender embrace so they're wanting closeness they're feeling that pull to be close to you and embrace very nice and they know that this connection is special like i said they don't have to know the label of it but they definitely feel the bond okay that strong powerful soul connection which is beautiful okay let's see what else for crystal number two how does their twin flame feel we got two again wow keep getting a lot of two cards that to me as a reader not all readers but for me it means union coming together two cards coming out you know side by side um very very nice Ooh, grasshopper i see this little crown here i feel like yeah they're rising in their power this one has a little crown on too this little dove emperor and empress okay beautiful 
both rising in your own power. I love it. Dub spirit, you're feeling that peace. So your person is feeling at peace within, knowing that they're on the right track and they're ready to take that leap of faith with the grasshopper spirit. Absolutely beautiful. Love this energy. Wow. Very, very nice. Very beautiful. All right, let's see what else. How does crystal number two's twin flame feel? Oh, only one this time. Fellow tra <laughs> only one card, but we're talking about fellow travelers traveling together. Mm hmm. Yep, could be about traveling together for some of you, okay? Maybe you both live in the same area and they're just trying to plan a vacation for you, okay? With you, you know? Plan a vacation, come to you and say, hey, let's go uh, on this vacation. Also, peacocks coming through here for you, uh, Twin Flames, right? Because, again, I say it in this Twin Flame reading, and I'll say it again, Beyond the Ordinary. I mentioned the, the, the powerful Twin Flame energy that comes through for anyone here that might be doubting whether this is your twin flame spirit um sends these through as confirmation if your intuition is telling you you know that it is your twin flame because i can't tell you if this person is your twin flame only you know that you know um but these come through as powerful confirmations for you if you're having trouble um confirming it within right so anyway support yeah support and travel is what i feel here for you guys someone traveling either to you or wanting to travel with you very nice so they they definitely want to be next to you too. tender embrace very beautiful energy they're wanting to embrace how does crystal number two's twin flame feel please how does crystal number two's twin you <laughs> the sun absolutely they're feeling extremely happy this is someone who i feel um again has set themselves free from something maybe not so great they're feeling on top of the world they're feeling like unstoppable at this point it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful empowered energy i love it So they're feeling like they, you know, you make them very happy. They're, they're feeling extremely joyful that they can finally experience this love with you, you know, um, make your wishes come true, make their own wishes come true, really deeply embrace looking in your eyes there with the lover's card. We have chopped wood. So they're definitely putting work in at this time too. Okay, they are putting in some sort of effort to come forward or bring this connection together. They could be planning things. Definitely was feeling like strong, powerful, like masculine and feminine energy coming through with the dove too both having crowns feeling like divine masculine divine feminine energy they are really wanting to take that leap of faith so they're really wanting to come to you they're feeling that pull to be next to you feelings yeah they have oop, okay and healing okay <laughs> feelings and healing okay so they are feeling again that need to express okay they want to express what they feel for you they feel like this this connection has really helped them to heal so your energy is very beautiful your light really helps them to you know rise in their own power and they're feeling very very deeply with this feelings card um, feeling very deeply and wanting to express it so I definitely feel like communication coming through on this first card here too. So they are feeling that need or that pull to say something here. What else? Or crystal number two. How does their twin flame feel? We got two, I think. Two or three again. Two. 
purity and adventures. Nice. So they are feeling very pure. Like they really um, have purified their energy, really healed themselves. They're allowing themselves to let the past go and move forward with you. Adventures, definitely wanting to, again, adventure, travel. A lot about travel for this reading here. I feel like this person and you possibly um, really enjoy traveling. For some of you, you may even do it as some sort of job or you may travel a lot in your job. Hmm. Yeah, something big about travel. Okay, am I taking all of those? This was the final card, but I guess I'm taking all of these, which is a uh, four, three, four. I don't know. I can't see. There's a bunch. All right, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll take them one at a time. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Yes. So they are feeling that pull to express. I'm going to put that right there because that's exactly what I feel like that's about. They want to speak their true love for you. They might not have said their true feelings in the past. There's, wow, take a chance on love. That fool energy coming through again. They're really wanting to take that leap of faith. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So they feel like you've been a beautiful change to their life. Wow, the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. Another powerful twin flame energy or high level soulmate. Um, but this, we're talking about your twin flame here. So this is them wanting to be together. Really wanting to come into union. Beautiful. And they want to speak the language of love. Mm, I feel like this is, um, this is more of a expression like body language type of thing yeah it's it's through body language something something about body language coming through but also speaking loving words so they definitely want to speak loving words but there's something about body language coming through here for someone as well so it could be the way that they move with you or react with you or something I don't know pretty specific probably to someone but body language also feathers there's feathers yeah there's multiple feathers here there's like a blue a yellow a white and a purple like in their hats there so something about feathers could be a sign for someone asking for a sign all right, crystal number two. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the pyrite crystal and the tarot of the divine, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number three. So today we are asking spirit, how does your twin flame feel? Okay, so let's see what comes through. For crystal number three, please. How does crystal number three's twin flame feel at this time? Born with a gift. Ooh, following their intuition. They feel like you're born with a gift. They feel like you are very intuitive. You're born with gifts. They're born with gifts. This connection is a gift. Hmm. They feel like this connection is very special. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Um, you're both very spiritual, I feel. Both very intuitive. Very magical and mystical. Crystal number three. How, does they, how do they feel? Ace of Cups. Wow, look at that. First card out. Beautiful energy. So they're wanting a new start in love. They're wanting some sort of a big offer so they they're wanting to give some sort of a big offer hmm yeah this could be a love offer coming they could be feeling like that pull to come forward with a love offer the higher fit whoa 
okay this might be a big love offer <laughs> like very big with the hierophant this is about commitment okay it might not be for all of you but it could be about you know asking for your hand in marriage here okay with the hierophant coming through it might not be though either way it's coming through commitment too so it could be for either one um you know different situations different people um coming through different energies so for some of you it might be just committing to a relationship but either way the ace of cups is about a new relationship starting so they are feeling the pull to do that let's see what else how does crystal number three's twin flame feel two three three okay we got three out strength so they're feeling pretty strong beautiful yeah they're feeling courageous it could have taken a while for them to gain the courage here is what I'm feeling here to um, come forward with a ooh with a love offer Emperor they are feeling strong very good so divine masculine energy they're feeling very strong they could have a plan to some sort of strategy hmm they're really feeling strong stable and the lovers ooh, nice so they're feeling that deep powerful love with you as well they know that this person knows that you're their person divine masculine energy they've really worked hard healing themselves this person born with a gift they're following their intuition now they know that you're the one for them okay let's see ace of cups beautiful messages there on that lover's card um ace of cups please so wanting a new start wanting to offer something big what two of cups moon Ooh, lots of hidden feelings coming out two of cups is about union yeah so they are wanting union beautiful they're feeling this need to be with you they're feeling very magnetized to you. They're wanting to express how they truly feel. Wow. A lot of unknown with the moon card. They're wanting to express that. Very nice. They could be thinking about what to say. Whoa, all these cards. Wow, okay, the Hierophant. We have King of Swords. So they're very clear that you are the one for them. Knight of Wands, extremely passionate, wanting to move forward with passion. So I feel like they're wanting to romance you, you know, be flirty, romantic, have a good time. Four of Cups, leave disappointment behind. Disappointment and conflict. So there might have been some sort of disappointment and conflict in this situation, and they're wanting to leave this behind. They're wanting to move past it. They're very clear now. Okay, with this Hierophant too, they're really committed to making changes in their life. That was a huge pile on that one. <laughs> they're really committed to making the changes in their life that they needed to make. There was some sort of competition or something like that for some of you. That coming out on the Hierophant could have been that your person was married. Um, they're wanting to move past that, so this person could have possibly gotten a divorce or something like that nine of swords so they did have a little i told you they were kind of getting the courage up well they were they were having a lot of anxiety about coming forward with a love offer here and now they've gained that courage so that is exactly what i was feeling on that strength card that they had a little bit of anxiety it took them a while to get that courage up the emperor the lovers Emperor lovers, please. For crystal number three, how does their twin flame feel? How does their twin flame feel? Emperor and lovers. There we go. Ooh, the world completion of a cycle. So definitely an ending, possibly bringing a new beginning. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ending a heartbreaking cycle. There was three people involved. For some of you, there was three people involved at some point. It was some sort of a love triangle. Okay, maybe not for all of you, but for some of you. Always keep in mind, these are general readings, okay? Um, 
but now there's only two cups here left standing okay that's the two of cups here the union between you so there was a cycle that was ending and now it's beginning a new cycle um with you here so and that might just be for some of you of course okay but world five of cups definitely feeling like there was a third party and that's only for some of you and, and I do feel like that is a romantic third party not always but this one I definitely feel like it was a romantic third party so someone else um, a marriage possibly or even a relationship courage and purification so yeah they've again really ri like risen this person has really risen they've purified their energy and now they've got the courage here to move forward and make changes coming forward with a big love offer with this ace of cups beautiful and two of cups ace of cups two of cups is huge okay that's a to, to be together like that that's a huge inside this person this is we're talking about soul level here it, within they are so in love and they just so want to be with you they have so many feelings they want to express. It's like overflowing. It's kind of like the energy. It's like overflowing, you know? Okay, what else? For crystal number three, we have balance. Nice. So yeah, coming into balance, purifying the energy. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay, so you might have had challenges, right? This five of wands, four of cups, five of cups, a little bit of challenge in the relationship. It's coming into balance now. Okay, very nice. They're feeling more balanced, purified, courageous, strong. We have very soon, and is there more than one? Nope, just one. Very soon. It fell out before I could even shuffle. Very soon. So whatever it is that's happening here, they're feeling like it's going to happen soon. Okay. Um, whether it be them trying to figure out what they're going to say or they, they plan to make some sort of change very soon. Like I said, they're feeling this love very deeply. It's overflowing. Crystal number three is twin flame. Keep your heart open. So they're hoping that you'll keep your heart open to them for when they come to you. Very nice. Okay. And their heart is opening to you as well. Maybe they were closed down in the past. They might have had their heart closed off, especially if they were with someone else or recovering from a bad situation from the past even. Okay. Um... You know, it could have been a past relationship that they were trying to heal from. Either way, they you know they might have had their heart closed down at some point. Birds of a feather, so they are feeling that deep soul bond to you. Okay, they do feel like you're their person. Like I said, this person just knows deep within. I think you both do. With born with a gift, you both have that deep, powerful inner knowing. What else for crystal number three? How does their twin flame feel? Open to infinite, doesn't want to fall, open to infinite possibility. Seeing that the future is bright. So they feel like the future will be very bright together. Okay, they see the potential here in this love connection. They know that this is powerful, different, special. Hmm. Yeah, I think your person definitely, um, like I said, very spiritual. They know this is something extraordinary, okay? This connection. So they feel like you are like amazing. This is extraordinary. You're like a person that they, they might have never ever thought that they could be with. Um, like you were out of their league or something like that. But now they're realizing that, you know, you're perfect for one another. Thought that was more than one wondrous universe yeah tapped into flow so they're feeling very powerful this is also a magician so i feel like they're manifesting you um definitely working with universal energy tapped in 
could be, you know, spending a lot of time meditating too. Mm. Very nice. This person really does desire uh, being in your presence. Really allowing the universe to do its magic. They believing in divine timing. There's something about divine timing here. Whoa. They're thinking of something to do with divine timing too. Like maybe they're feeling like it's time, you know. Whoops. My, I'm almost dropping boxes of cards here. Healer of the ages. Wow, yeah. You've really opened their heart, see. Mm, you've helped them to heal their heart. Their heart is open to you now. It may have been, like I said, closed down in the past, but they're feeling very open-hearted toward you at this time. Very nice. Let's see what else for crystal number three. That was fast. Not for you. Mm. So whatever it was, the, again, strategy coming through this chessboard here. Um, feeling like the emperor here. Okay, knows what he's doing, the masculine, okay? It doesn't have to be a man. I say he because it's, you know, the masculine energy for simplicity reasons. But whoever the masculine is here knows something is not for them and they are moving away from that. Okay, definitely feeling like some sort of negative, like, conflict or something around this person is really not sitting well with them. And they're moving away from that through maybe some sort of plan because the chess pieces are on that board. So they might have some plan at how to remove themselves from that situation or whatever that is in their life. Let's see what else. How does crystal number three's twin flame feel? Almost hit the floor. Going with the flow. Yeah, so they definitely are tapped into universal energy for sure. And they're trying to just go with the flow and see where, you know, the universe leads them. It's really paying close attention to signs and synchronicities as well. So they feel very tapped in to the universe about this connection. What else? We have two again, I think. Purification again. Wow. And leadership taking the lead. Nice. So yeah, they're really standing strong in their emperor energy, uh, feeling like they need to take the lead here and feeling like they purified their energy. So they've really worked hard at healing. I definitely was feeling that through the reading. They feel like this person has really put a lot of work in self, you know, self work, inner work, growth. Let's see what else. For crystal number three. Okay, we got quite a few here. <laughs> All right, we have romance. That's first up. Then we have be willing to express love back to what you love and relationship patterns. Ah, so could have been stuck in some sort of a relationship pattern. And it says it takes strength to recognize the need for change. Remember what I said here? They, they kind of had some anxiety about it, but then they gained that courage there was something going on in this person's life, possibly in some sort of a relationship that was a pattern and they finally decided to free themselves from it. They're trying to get back to you, back to what they love. Okay, they really do love you very deeply and they're trying to get back to you. Doing everything they can, they're working hard. They, they definitely have some sort of plan, some of them, okay? Be willing to express love. So they're wanting to express love to you and receive love back from you as well. Very nice, wow. And romance, yeah, I was definitely feeling this person's wanting to, you know, romance you, flirt, 
Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. Nice. So they want to lavish you with attention and love. Very beautiful. All right, crystal number three. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.